You are getting ready to listen to the voice of Dr. Radi Ferguson, 2004 Olympian, four-time national judo champion, Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, author, speaker, and coach. The peril of comfort, how our pursuit of convenience undermines excellence. This message has been brought to you by www.judoislife.net. Greetings. In an age where convenience is not just a luxury but an expectation, it's essential to heed the words of Ed Milet, who asserted that convenience and greatness cannot coexist. This statement resonates profoundly with anyone who has pushed beyond the ordinary to achieve something extraordinary, such as Olympians or innovators. Yet, in a broader sense, it's a stark reminder of a cultural shift that could be undermining the fabric of our society's progress and personal development. The law of convenience. We live in an era defined by unprecedented convenience. From same-day deliveries to digital assistants that manage our schedules, technology has significantly reduced the need for physical and mental exertion in our daily tasks. While these advancements have indisputable benefits, they also foster a comfort-centric mindset that often conflicts with the principles of hard work resilience and perseverance the comfort trap the trap of comfort lies in its subtlety and gradual influence on our choices and lifestyles the immediate gratification of comfort and ease is undeniably alluring it promises a smooth path free from the bumps of exertion and the bruises of failure however this path often leads to a plateau of mediocrity where personal growth is stunted and the pursuit of excellence becomes a distant thought the cost of convenience when we prioritize convenience over challenge we pay a price that extends beyond personal stagnation our collective culture starts to value ease over effort leading to a decrease in innovation creativity and resilience this shift not only diminishes individual potential but also affects society's ability to tackle complex problems and overcome significant challenges discipline and suffering pathways to greatness history and personal success story consistently demonstrate that discipline, suffering, and enduring difficult moments are integral to achieving greatness. The journey to Olympic glory, for instance, is paved with relentless training, immense sacrifice, and often painful setbacks. These experiences, however, forge mental toughness, character, and an unwavering commitment to excellence that convenience can never nurture. The damning impact on future generations. The preference for convenience has alarming implications for future generations. Young people growing up in a world where ease as the norm may struggle to develop the grit and determination necessary to navigate life's inevitable challenges. This could lead to a future workforce ill-prepared for adversity, less innovative, and more inclined to give up in the face of difficulties. Reclaiming the path to greatness. To reverse this trend, it's imperative to re-emphasize the values of hard work and resilience. This involves consciously choosing the harder path embracing discomfort as a growth opportunity and valuing the process over the end result. In education, parenting, and leadership, there needs to be a greater focus on fostering these qualities to prepare individuals for the demands of an ever-changing world. Conclusion The statement by Ed Milet serves as a crucial reminder of the inherent conflict between convenience and greatness. As a society, we must recognize the long-term consequences of our current trajectory. By embracing discomfort and challenges, we can nurture a culture that values resilience, fosters innovation, and prepares individuals not just to succeed in their personal ambitions, but to contribute meaningfully to a world that needs their best efforts more than ever. The choice between convenience and greatness is not just a personal one, it's a decision that shapes the future of our society. Dedicated to your improvement, Dr. Roddy Ferguson. And remember, I love you, but God loves you best. You are getting ready to listen to the voice of Dr. Roddy Ferguson, 2004 Olympian, four-time national judo champion, Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, author, speaker, and coach.